Hey, I'm Mike. I'm here today. I'm going to show you how to transfer a picture or whatever you want off your laser printer. I, I think it might work off an inkjet too. I don't really try to get it, but they say it can be done. But uh, you can do a photo transfer. But what I'm doing today is I'm taking an old poster from the old days. This is Wranglers earn $30 uh, per month. Cattle drive Central Texas to Montana Territory. It goes on to tell about it and how to get hired on. And anyways, I thought this would be a good idea to put on a piece of wood and use it as a decoration and a kind of like a cowboy uh, motif in your in your decorating. And so, really, they call it, some people call it Mod Podge, photo transfer. Um, it kind of is Mod Podge in a way, I guess. But anyways, I call it photo transfer. And what you're doing is using a regular mat like that. And I get it in the uh, aisle where the acrylic paint is, like in Michael's or uh, Hobby Lobby and uh, go back in there and look for regular matte gel. Yeah, works really good. So what I've done is I've taken a piece of wood and I have already uh, burnt the edges here because I wanted it to match the edges of my, my paper there, kind of blend in. And so I've burnt the edges and I've taped it because I don't want my mat to cover up my wood over here because it's kind of what happens is it that mat pulls the, the ink out of the paper and you wash the, the paper off and it leaves it all in a hard gel which make, makes it look like it was embedded in the wood. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and put my, my mat gel on. I, I put it on really thick. Just don't be afraid to put it on too thick there. And uh, worry about uh, putting it on even and just getting it thick first. Because I think what people do is they try to get it even and they spend 10 minutes trying to get it even. You just want to get this on and kind of hurry up and get it on there so it doesn't start drying out because it does kind of dry out pretty fast, especially here in western Colorado. So I just do two ways like that, make sure I'm getting my corners. And I'll do one more time, just make sure I don't get something weird like right there. I got a little hard piece for some reason. And I just kind of even it out real light right now, real, real light brush tokes. And uh, now I will put my uh, photo on, my transfer photo. You gotta watch out that you don't get that bad on your fingers because it'll stick to that this piece of paper. And I use my laser printer for this. Get it nice and even. You can just barely move it around if you need to. Square it up and whatever you're trying to do. It'll slide on there a little bit for you. Sometimes I use a roller. The roller tends to get the mod or the gel on there. And uh, just roll, roll all your bubbles out. Wrinkles out. Doesn't take long to do that. See right now I'm getting it on my roller. Then I'll cross roll it from the first way I did it. And it seems to get everything out. And I don't keep doing it with the roller. I'll, some people use a credit card. And Mod Podge makes this here. You can get it Michaels like I said there. What Mod Podge is, is this is kind of the finish that you put over top of it. And I just work out any wrinkles I think that I don't want how hard you may want to work on it, it's up to you. That's pretty easy to do. And after I let it dry here, I'll show you how to take the paper off and leave the picture on the wood. We'll be right back. Well, I'm back. We're going to pull the, the paper off that picture. I pulled the tape off of each side. And uh, I've pre-wetted this, and now basically you can see where it's real white here, and then over in here you can see through it. And that's actually when I was rolling it, I've got some of the mat on there, but that's okay. So what you do is you just start rubbing that paint off of there. Sometimes it gets a little hard to start. Let's just start rolling the paper off, and you can start seeing 
uh, the words coming through there. You might want to get someone that has calluses on their hands. Uh, sometimes it's better because I just did uh, three others before this one. And uh, anyways, you just keep on rubbing. And you don't want to get anything slick on your hands. Make sure your hands are dry before you start. And that way it did, uh, doesn't slick off of there. This one's a little bit harder than the other three that I've done tonight already. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the rest of it off of here. And I'm going to show you the end product. So we're going to cut and come back. So I've got most of the tape off. And I still have a lot of paper on there. What I do is you can take, you can wet this thing down in the sink or utility sink or something like that. I got a wet uh, towel here and it's it's okay to get it really wet. Matter of fact, you can get it sopping wet. Uh, towels will work okay to pull the paper off, but I way prefer my hand. And it just starts balling off. Keep on rubbing it. And you'll feel a little bit slick. And then pretty soon it starts to dry up a little bit. And then that's when you can really start pulling the paper off. Sometimes you gotta let it dry, because right when you think you got it all off, you let it dry up and there's some white spots on there and you just wet them up again. So, anyways, that's basically what you do, and then you can take your your Mod Podge and put over top of that, kind of seal it up in a way, and puts on a finish. Like I said, there's different other uh, different kinds of finishes, antique and clear and crackle, I think, or something like that. So that was the one we did the other night. Uh, this is like two days drying. You don't have to let it dry for two days. Heck, you can do it in the morning and peel it off at night. Here's another one you can see that the white is dried up. If you just rub it, that paper comes right off there. So you want to let it dry one time and make sure you got all your paper off. Here's kind of a cool one I'm going to hang in my bathroom. Nudity required beyond this point. And this is what a photo does. Old cowboys back in the 1800s roped a wolf. Thought it was kind of cool. So thanks for watching my video and I hope you learned something and uh, watch my other videos and see what other kind of cool stuff we're doing. Thanks.